1, 2, 3, synchro. <laughs> And we're rolling now. So we're in Geneva. Yeah. And now Gil's pad. He, he just only just got up. So this is our crib. We're going to uh, discuss some work that Gil has, his collection. Yeah, I still my collection. So uh, here we are, Santa Mac. So, let's start, let's start with the... Uh, yeah, check it. Most of the stuff appears to be liberatory stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Which we are big fans of. Yeah, for the moment, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we got some of the... All right, we can start changing my mind, all right? I got some of the sketches you made for the Batman, black and white Batman. So, I never saw this stuff. This. You never saw it? No, I never saw it, no. It was kind of it, what, 10? I think it was 8. Right. In that uh, black and white series. How did he approach Batman? Did he uh, make him any more? Did he, was he, did he push the. Uh, well, I thought he would not push the. the, uh, the ears, the ears more, maybe, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, he did it pretty high over here. Yeah. I want to say this is a hard, it's quite blocky. Yeah, so. Uh, just get us to find yeah. the indies and the, the layout for the yeah. comic. You know. This, this is not bad. This is just a little doodle he made while he's on the phone. Alright. <laughs> Yeah. No phone numbers on it. Uh, this is a laundry bill. Three pairs of knickers. That must, that must be uh, kind of finished finish layouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because some artists surprisingly they actually draw the whole, they pencil the whole thing out, draw it first, then redraw it again. Yeah. And then in Cape Chow is quite surprising. The guy who died was a friend of Tanino, his name was Pacienza. <gasps> he would just go like this and speed faster than you, maybe. And it just came out amusing. Really, really good. Yeah. So this is this is a portrait as Liberatorix. So That's cool. A new, yeah, that a is a more comic book hero. Few years, few years younger. Yeah, and they made the they made it in as long. It's probably nineteen nineteen seventy eight. It's on the train together. So he made a, he made a sketch of uh, I like the original. It's just a photocopy, but it's so cool. So Pacienza made mm -hmm. a sketch of uh, Libera, Liberator as uh, this new uh, hero character, right. Liberatorix. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Cool, pretty cool, yeah. Daniel said he was the best. And he's dead now. Yeah, he died of an overdose. Yeah. Fortunate. Died of an overdose of talent. That's what usually happens. Yeah. Well, yeah same, same as the guy who wrote the <laughs> Tambourini. The guy who wrote the scenery and invented actually Rank Xerox. So I've got some of the original uh, sceneries made by. Uh, <coughs> by uh, Tambourini on his machine. This is kind of the layout he made himself. It's a thumbnail. It's so in it, yeah, it's so in Italian and stuff. So that's pretty cool, it's the original scenery for yeah, me. His art style was quite close to uh, Libertore, so why didn't he draw himself? No, he couldn't do anything he wants. So why did he draw it? Who? Oh, uh, uh, no, the style of tambourine is different. Mm -hmm. It's completely different. This is Pacienza. Right. They're all guys that work on the same uh, magazine called Frigidaire. Oh, okay. It was the most famous comic book magazine. So the guy who did these layouts for, for originally, uh, the writer, could, could, he, could he draw, actually draw? Yeah, yeah draw? I'll show you later. Exactly. Very lovely, cool. lovely. Danino did that in few seconds. <coughs> a few seconds? Had, yeah, because he did a few nah, seconds. Nah, he did less than an hour, it's just uh, one <laughs> Less than an hour. hour. It's a copy of uh, Mobius. Right. Yeah, yeah, you would think... Even sand it movies. Why do you do that? Uh, just for the bakery. Just for the year uh, to show enough, so good he is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is pretty cool. This magazine in uh, France made a fake Pravda. A fake? A fake Pravda to, uh, with a drawing of Liberator of a soldier breaking his Kalachnikov, supposedly to stop the war in Afghanistan. Right. And they went to the Red Square in, uh, in uh, Moscow and decided distributing for free. And nobody realized it was a fake, a fake Pravda. And basically, the whole thing is uh, anti—I uh, mean, anti-Russian propaganda to get out of Afghanistan. So, the Vitoria did do this. Yeah, he did this. Uh, well, they, just, the they, 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 they just took it or stole it and uh, used it. No, no, no. The magazine for which the battle worked for was called Actuel. Order from Tanin of this drawing of a Russian soldier breaking his Kalashnikov, and they put it on the cover of a fake Pravda, mm -hmm. and then they gave it to all the Russian people over there. Mm -hmm. And it's basically all propaganda about leaving Afghanistan, etc., etc. It was a no. pretty dangerous thing to do at the time. I guess. <laughs> pretty volatile. Especially giving out in the <coughs> Red Square. Oh, really? What year was that? 70s. 
1984, uh, good old days. Yeah, yeah. That's a friend, a friend of mine from New York who uh, made a spook story of Wank Xerox called Wank Xerox. Wank? Yeah. What's Wank? Man. You know what it means. And it's pretty, it's pretty... It's pretty glory. Oh. That's all right. Well, you know, I ain't say nothing. Yeah, it's just... Anyways, it was nice. Deal. No big deal. It's a nice little bit of it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Cover from there the book. Go. Outstanding. Yeah. It's a very daring pose, that. Difficult angle. Yeah. But, uh... But he's, uh, uh, he pulled it off. The color of the skin and stuff, you know, the furniture, everything's cool. Yeah, it's all made again with a uh, uh, pentel, with uh, markers, yeah. color markers. Which is pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah. I got a like a lot too, called a Jeff Darrow. I don't know if you know him. Jeff Darrow? Yeah. Of course, yeah, man, it's incredible. Yeah, you like his stuff? Yeah, I don't think anyone's put some of it in there. Yeah. That yeah. was uh, the story you did with Frank Miller. It was a hard yeah, boil. Yeah, with a robot. Hard boil, yeah, 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 of yeah, That's hard boil, I think. I think he, pretty put, he put this full stop on uh, comic books, I think, action and detail. Yeah, right. they yeah. did the, the, the color for Top Top, the French comics. For, I got some big, big ones over there. Try every single nut bolt. Yeah. That's a small one. I have huge ones like this. You know the one with the big whale who lands on the city? You know that drawing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got it over there. That's another one of Liberator's uh, copies of movies. Right. Yeah, weird. Yeah, that's the only original alien bigger piece I kept. An original drawing for alien tree. Oh no. What's that word? Oh, it's just yeah. I don't know. I mean, just a matter of interest. Five thousand and yeah. five. So there's nothing there's no alien stuff on the market. Mm -hmm. All the paintings right. except one were stolen by somebody at Fox when they released the yeah, the old uh, in the old days uh, the uh, comic book stuff, uh, they used to throw a comic book away, book away. Yeah. or turn the page over and work on the back of the page. Yeah, exactly. and they were just like rubbish, you know, it was done, yeah. so they didn't get anyone, yeah? Yeah, no, that also Incredible, like, isn't it? they got every, every uh, artist to basically copy the previous one to the, kind of the same drawings for yeah. Batman and Spider Man. Yeah. They wouldn't have any change of style. That's right, yeah. So you have to study the previous guy's technique and kind of. Well, of course, yeah, man, that's, that's the way it worked. I mean, yeah, there's a the difference between, like I said, Europe and uh, in America. In Europe, each yeah. artist has his own character and he does what he wants. Mm. And in America, basically, they pay you as a slave to do what they want. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, true, but at the same time, uh, you know, doing do Bam's quite cool. Big ears and the raw coffee look. Yeah. Oh, come on, doing Bam has a buzz. Mm. Yeah, that was okay. the black and white of the black and white. Uh, right? Judgment of that was the yeah, first. Yeah, Judgment of Gotham, there was like a colored one, okay? Mm. It's different, I'm talking about the black and white, mm. which are colored later. Well, you mean, well, the thing is, you know, you know the thing is, uh, if you've got a regular book coming out, you need consistency. You can't suddenly just suddenly change the style. Uh, so you've got to need a consistent look for the whole thing. Put a graphic novel together, well, you know, one minute he looks like this and he's suddenly got a different actor. Or suddenly the battle is this, but then, then, should, then you should get, get the same broad artist, but I guess it's well, yeah, so long that they died already. Well, it did. No, it died his drawing board. Yeah, that's so. So that's some, so that's some plenty of stuff really hard to draw. No, like, no, Schultz and Snoopy. Yeah. You know, you try to draw even, even uh, you know, a guy reasonably skilled as I am. But you get that right line. Yeah. It's so difficult. You know, you just a line out is wrong. Don't know, like Snoopy. Yeah, but Snoopy's a bit different. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Well, very possible. There's no real particular point to it. It's just, just a matter of interest, really. You know, something so simple can be quite difficult. Yeah. Yeah. The battery didn't finish. <coughs> I liked. Oh man, yeah, well, that's, that's, that's the thing about uh, you know, so many people could do figurative stuff, so many people could do this kind of thing. Yeah. But there's something about people that you just instantly look at, you just go, oh, you yeah, know, it's magic. you just go, oh, yeah, it just, it just gives you that buzz, you know, it's just yeah, it's so exactly. exciting and because it's just not drawn for the sake of a, for the sake of a, of a female figure. He knows, he knows that the way the, the you know, the, the, the fold, the, 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 the like, slight tilt of the body, you yeah. get the whole attitude and makes it alive. Yeah. Just with pen, a bit of colour wash, and that's it, bum bum. A talented motherfucker. I like the Japanese parallel, the Japanese uh, 
I was working to buy. Oh, a sexy woman, that. Eh? Did you see? Go look at glasses. Did you see there? No, I can't see it. What is it? The head. Oh! <laughs> the head is a penis here. And the woman. Oh! <laughs> She's what? Wow. They spent some time on that pubic hair, didn't they? Yeah. Well, that's just really nice. I like the knife inside the buffalo. Yeah. Oh, it's a buffalo, I didn't uh -huh. see that. It's funny that kind of thing, you know, oddly enough, this, this here kind of makes a piece. That, 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 yeah, that it gives, it, it gives it a really nice sense of balance. Yeah, exactly. That's very really nice, man. Thank you very problem. much. I love, uh, to that no problem. Probably no. from the first or second album. Look on the other side. Well, who decided to make his nose so high up and. Uh, Tambourine? Yeah. Right. So I can't look. Like Tanino said, originally the oh. character had a true, like an elephant thing and then he chopped it off. Oh, I see. So that's why you get that effect. The crust. And the, the glasses are, are real uh, Italian uh, soldering glasses. They're welding, welding. They're welding, welding yes. glasses. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's a cool piece he did for me for a, for a business card. Oh, you recognize that. This is from the comic book. Yeah. And then he added the Rank Zero. Yeah, yeah smoking a stogie. Yeah. As you mentioned, it was quite remarkably relaxed, though, didn't it? Sends that piece. Yeah. A copy of Liberator. We are uh, close friends. Oh, but since I turned in, yeah, everybody close was, friends, was yeah. close friends. So what they yeah. did over here, uh, when they worked in Mali, they had a magazine called Cannibal with all those guys. Then, then they finished their magazine and made a new magazine in Mali. So this is the original Rank Zero by Tambourine. Oh, that's the only shit. piece. I think really? I have another one here. I have another one here. There. That's the original Rex. Oh, is it? Yeah. By Tamburini. That's a print, is it? No, it's a uh, Xerox and you call it Xerox. A bit dark. But you can see, you can see what it looked like. Yeah, yeah. You can see the progression. Mm -hmm. I see by the nose, well, I suppose it's supposed to be the right yeah, elephant it's, or something. It's, it's, it's much nastier here. It's like a real bully, you know, a skinhead kind of. Yeah, thing. yeah. Uh, and these are the different guys, Macchiotti, uh, I think this is Pazienza, I'm not sure, and Tamburini. So each one drew his own, his own character. Ma Macchiotti, this guy, I, I think I have two originals from here. From him. Come on, there. Yeah. So here, these are the guys, this, after that they worked on this magazine called Crazy Bear. So Pazienza made a, a drawing of all the guys from Crazy Bear. So we have Libertor, Tamburini, Rotrank Xerox, Pacienza, that guy that drew Rank Xerox, Macchioli, that did Squeak the Mouse. I don't know if you remember Squeak the Mouse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I begged him for like 10 years to sell me a piece and he would sell me nothing. Mm -hmm. Finally, he gave me a present, a black and white of uh, Squeak the Mouse. And all these guys are all friends all together. Yeah, they all work It's kind of interesting. They always, when you always want to get a movement in, yeah, yeah, exactly. a, a movement, you always get. Like uh, you had the, all the Klimps and you had yeah. the uh, the tur uh, yeah. Turner with his, his landscape buddies. Yeah. So you know, the Surrealists all together. Yeah. There you want. It's real fun. Yeah, this is important. Oh, look at this all over here then. Fucking silent. What's that? Is this going to be on over or is it? No, that's Pacienza. Oh, okay, okay. We call it piece of, uh, the guy who died over here. Piece of, uh... Sweet. She always developed their ranks, but it's more like rank any rank yeah, ranks. Yeah, you can see the ranks in the ranks just for the fun of it. Up, shut down. DDT to Java, man. It's a little uh, postcard I got for uh, New Year from Tanina. Dark Street. And uh, this is cool, this is another rank in the ranks done by Pacienza. Oh. Yeah, it looks kind of old there, doesn't it? Uh, Oh, that's, yeah, that's the blow up of that uh, patient that piece of the art for A little bit bigger. <laughs> it was fine.